everybody loves kitchens. And why don't we mix up a little science in that? And here you have it. Today we're gonna be doing some kitchen science. So stay tuned. Don't click off this video. We're gonna be doing experiments. Guys, we need to do this quick. Because if my parents find out that I'm doing some science in the kitchen, you may never see me. Okay, but now all that is aside, let's get right into some science. Ooh, let's see what's in this box up right now, boys. Oh, we got a volcano for destroying some cities. Don't tell anybody about that. We got some rockets for destroying some alien homes. Don't tell anybody about that as well. And we got our alarm clock so I don't wake up in the middle of the night and stay up. Now let's flip this. <gasps> Today we're gonna be becoming Charlie Combs. My dream is to become a detective. Okay guys, now it's time to open this up. So let's find a way to open this. Wait, and I am opening it right now. So of course we have my dream right here. We have the alarm clock. We got the rocket. And we got the volcano. And we got the bag that's gonna go here. Okay guys, so last time I made a video about this, I said that we we're using potatoes. And instead of using my pitchforks right here, we're actually using the copper instead of my pitchforks. But this time we're gonna be using pitchforks instead of the copper ore. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, so we're going to be putting the zinc here and the pitchfork. Why am I still saying pitchfork? It's just a normal fork. Okay, but now that all that's gone. Okay, so let's first put our fork here. Then let's put our zinc all the way here. Let's just align this better. Good, and now let's put our fork here. And then our zinc here. And now if you see, the clock is perfectly working which is just amazing. Okay guys, so this project can definitely make a very small clock work. It's not that big of a problem, but hey, it works. If you guys know how these three items uh, change the chemical power into electrical power, please comment down below. Guys, we're going to be making a rocket beam. And now, what we need is two millimeters of vinegar. I just hope my parents don't hear the explosion or else you know the consequences. Okay, this is exactly two. Now we need to be careful with this one because we need to put baking soda into this. Yeah, that's what the manual says. I think that's good. Okay, so if you guys aren't understanding what I'm doing, I have put two millimeters of vinegar right here. And then I have put baking soda right here. And then if I put it here, then if I shake it a little, if I let it go, it will go bam, bam, bam. That's the best explaining I've ever done. Now if we shake this a little. And we messed up. Take number two. We shall never give up. Okay. So, this time, I have an idea. I'm going to shake it very little. Now it's time for the baking soda. Take number two, I have fully filled this up again. Oh, that scared me for a little bit. It's not that powerful. So I think we give it more vinegar. But as you guys can see, it does work. So it doesn't work that well. Maybe you just need to add a crap ton of vinegar. Okay, now let's fully fill up the rocket with this, uh, with the baking soda again. This time we're gonna go for a quick spin and then let it go. Wait, so if you add anything to it, it won't matter. But I think I can still retry this. That was close. <laughs> you know, this is actually very fun as a game. If you can automate this, it will be even more fun. <laughs> it's so funny. And of course it all spills on me one time. But as you can see, this fully works. It fully works completely. Now let's move on to the next 
step. Did you guys see that chemical reaction between the baking soda and the vinegar? It was just amazing. Baking soda and vinegar is used for a crap ton of more, you know, projects, which are very fun and very amazing looking. So um, yeah, and now let's move on to the next project. Okay guys, now we're going to be trying the volcano. Let's add this stuff. So it says that we need to first add a full teaspoon of baking powder. I um, meant baking soda, not baking powder. Okay, that's a full teaspoon. It says add about a couple drops of red dye, or uh, red food coloring. Then it says add some washing liquid. Because what the, what the washing liquid does, it makes your eruption go slower. But at the same exact time, it does give it the bubbles. So we kind of got to do it. Bam. I think I added too much. You know, it doesn't matter. This is a volcano anyway. Now let's add a spoon of vinegar. Then it should erupt. Okay, maybe I should take the tray a little bit closer. Boom shakalaka. Just wait a little bit. I think I'm going to add a little bit more baking soda. This is the slowest eruption I've ever seen. Okay, we definitely need more vinegar. That's like just necessary. Oh yeah, brother. Look at that, so cool. I love it. Let's keep adding more so the eruption keeps going. Let's add this. That exploded. Let's add some of this. Let's add more of these. Yee! Look at this eruption. It's actually the coolest eruption I've ever seen. It started off slow. But now it's kicking up a notch. What I say about this eruption, it's very successful. Let's make it look a little bit more volcanish. Let's add some more vinegar. Oh look, vinegar is coming out of nowhere. Okay, so let's slowly, slowly put this. This is a 100% a successful eruption. Guys, baking soda and vinegar is just such a cool combo. If you know you wanna make something erupt, especially with this volcano. You know, I'm probably taking this to my science fair, that's cool. I will, but um, I guess let's move on to the next project on. Do you guys know that in this kit, you can literally create invisible ink. You can create, well, you can kind of do detective fingerprints. So you know whatever fingerprint is coming on your things. And you can do rock candy. Oh yeah, and secret messages. Yeah, but why don't we leave that for another video? Cause this one has been way too long and let's just. So subscribe, click that notification bell and hit that like button so I never miss out on new videos. And if you have a new kit for me that I haven't tested out yet, comment it down below. But bye bye.